Hi, welcome again. Unreal Engine 5.1 is here. One of the cool features of 5.1 is the Nanite and World Position Offset support. And if you don't know about World Position Offset, it's really amazing thing. So basically, it's effect displacement and it's zero cost actually. If you want to give me some example, it's a way how you can animate grass and also you can do some of the uh, displacement in landscape kind of thing. It's possible. And here we created something similar with Terrain Magic. We create like a like a very fluid, uh, yeah like terrain uh, editing workflow and that's uh, that's based on world version offset so this is terrain magic if you don't know check the description below if you want to like grab that in this tutorial i'm going to explain how it works with python 1 and some yeah interesting things first let's discover some of the measures we have right uh so i'll go into the wireframe mode so it's a little bit clear so here we have a setup uh usual standard measures over here we have a spear over here and a couple of um, light boxes and we, uh, we have some tubes like as grasses and this is the same exact mesh uh, with nanite support as you know uh, this is a high density mesh like it has some squares like uniform mesh actually uh, here the, we have displaced that that's why it looks a little bit weird but you get the idea but with nanite actually it tries to like uh, like it's, it's try to change this uh, structure based on the like camera distance, like dynamic LOD kind of things. So it, it doesn't care about the uniformity, it just just do it in a like a very performant manner. So that's why, why you can see on this uh, uh, this box here, it's just like uniform, uh, uniform mesh. Here again, it's displaced, but you get the idea. But here, uh, as you can see over here, it's just since it's a box, it doesn't care about the uh, actual uniformity of the mesh. It's just like trying to do it in a very uh, performant way. So this has both good and bad, um, depending on what you do. Um, yeah, let's talk about that in a moment. Right, and let's start with the first material that we can see over here. All right, basically it's a simple texture-based displacement. So this is the uh, nanite one. This is the non-nanite one. As you can see, it's, it's, it's just fine in some cases. Like if you go closer, it, it, it works fine, right? This is the material instance that you can see over here. I can increase the displacement like this. All right. Now you can see it. Uh, yeah, it's like it scale the displacement. Then I can change the UV scale, uh, UV parameter. And you can see how it looks. So this is just like maximizing the effect. And this is not how we use this in a real world scenario. Uh, maybe something like this and a, maybe a large plane. That's how we do it. But uh, you can see like it's, it's worked really well with high density mesh because like they have uniform uh, uniform um, triangles, uniform squares. But on a sphere, it's, it's, it's doing a fine job and it's really, really nice. But for a cube, uh, like... I don't think uh, it does a really uh, good job. The reason is like uh, because yeah, it, it creates triangles in a in a uh, yeah non-uniform uh, way. As you can see over here, it's good for the performance, but like for for our purpose, it's not good. So that's something you need to think about, All right? Then let's talk about uh, like changing the position without like deforming your uh, object or mesh or whatever the thing that you are. That's uh, that's pretty powerful like you can see here i just like uh, do a simple uh, sine wave and trying to animate it like this uh, let me show you the material so this is the instance so i can change the displacement size right and if you if i open the uh, material in instance uh, material and it would be something like this basically we have a sine value and i'm deriving zero to one value and we're animating that and then we simply multiply that with a, a scalar parameter that we have here and then we multiply that with the vertex normals and then we feed that into the world position offset so here we are not trying to like deform our mesh so you're just trying to change the position based on normals in this case it works really well because there is no difference between the uh, this uh, nanite version and the non-nanite version because yeah because we are not uh, deforming it and this is a really wonderful use case for uh, nanite and uh, doing world position offset based animations and uh, yeah rigid animation and it, it works really well pretty good right then uh, we have the uh, like trying to like do the same thing but deforming our mesh a little bit not 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 uh, dramatically uh, even in this case it it works it's 
this is the non-nanite version here we have an added normals that's why you cannot see more information over here so imagine this is like a water plane or something like that uh, so this is the non-nanite version this is the nanite version as you can see it doesn't uh, work really well uh, the reason is again the uh, uniformity of the mesh like that here you can see you can see some ripples in the mesh but over here you cannot see that because and I try to triangulate, triangulate uh, in, the, in the most performant way. Uh, so if you're trying to um, uh, like create a like uh, like a water animation, a water repulse kind of thing, uh, if you're trying to use nanite, um, things will be not that good. Uh, but yeah, of course you you can play around with that. Uh, and if you try to create a like uh, not exactly uniform mesh, like if you create some predefined repulse, uh, if you create some uh, predefined uh, ripples in the mesh uh, initially then it might hold on right then uh, then uh, let's talk about the grass and uh, this is the most important thing uh, okay uh, so we are trying to do some wind animation for grass and this is the non nanite version this is the nanite version as you can see it works it works really really well uh, and the reason we is uh, like here we are not trying to deform our object grass dramatically it holds the shape a little bit when you think about wind animation and this is the best scenario best case scenario for like nanite for wpo and uh, and, and that's the most feature, uh, important feature that everyone is expecting for wpo for grass and uh, like foliage and it works it works really really well and uh, I'm, I'm i'm expecting like people will do really cool things with nanite and foliage and i'm really excited to see how it it, it works I'll, I'll keep investigating on how we can do this uh especially with landscapes and, and i'll give you an update and if you try to get the source code of this everything uh it's available on my patreon as well uh if you're interested in uh all right uh, see you soon with uh, something interesting bye